Hello and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to stream um, real-time data from Thinkorswim um, into an Excel spreadsheet and from there you can create uh, pretty much do a lot of different things with it once you're in um, Excel once you get the data imported into there. Um, but to do this all we really need to do is we just need to make sure that um, Thinkorswim is open and running in the background and once we have that going um, we can open up our Excel sheet and we can see that we'll automatically stream data into Excel in real time. So what we have, um, we have the symbol, the put and call, the expiration date, and the strike percentage are the um, four items that, that we can change in here. Um, everything else is automatically done. Um, so for under symbol, uh, all we need to do is use capital letters here. So we can look at Apple, and it'll take a few seconds. It'll pull it up. So it's pulled up. Uh, we have first the last price. We have the 52-week high and the 52-week low. Um, we have the yield. So if it pays a dividend, it will tell us. Um, put and call. And this is where we can change if we want to calculate the return on capital of the put or the call. So right now we are on the puts. So what it's going to do is we have... The strike percentage here, we enter in the percentage, um, I guess, say discount that we're looking for. So if the stock is trading at 136, we want to try and find a put that is 3% below that. So 3% below the current price is going to be 132.43. And this column here is the actual put that is getting the price for. So the 130 put, the bid ask is 231 and 233. And that's the 130 put. The return on capital is roughly 1.69 for this trade, which is 50 days. It's a 28 delta, and the annualized return is 12.35%. Hopefully, I didn't go over that too fast. So, what we can do right now, we're looking at the put. If we change this to a C, it has now loaded in this 140 call right here. It's giving us the bid and the ask for the call now. Our return on capital is now 2.31 or 16.8 annualized. And we can see that that 140 call is a 40 delta. <clears throat> um, a couple of other things. Um, we have the percentage from the high and the percentage from the low. So Apple is roughly 6% off of its 52-week high. And it is 34% off the 52-week low. So we a drop of 34%, we would be at the 52-week low, and a drop and a uh, increase of six six and a quarter or 6.29%, we would be at the 52-week high. And the 52-week high and low are going to be calculated basically from <clears throat> yesterday. So <clears throat> if we look at SPY, we can actually see that SPY is actually above its 52-week high. So SPY trading at 429.88 is above the 428.78 52-week high. So we can see that our percentages, we would have to drop 0.26% to get to the 52 high and drop 27% to get to the 52 low. So now that I've showed you how to change um, the put and the call right here, uh, the next thing we'll look at will be the strike price percentage. And we can change this as well. Let's say that you know we want to get in it at 5% below, if we enter 5%, that's going to bring up the 130 call. If we do 10%, that's going to bring up the 125 call. Um, now, one thing I will say that all of these numbers in this column here have been rounded um, to the nearest, uh, basically, 5. So, And we can change that. Uh, it's, it's actually rounded up or down to the nearest five from this column right here. So to change that, we would just click on it. And if we want to round it to the nearest one, we would delete the five and enter a one. And I'm doing that right here. And hit enter. So now the 122.89, it's rounded it to 123. The reason that I'm rounding to multiples of five is because if we do it by a single digit sometimes there may not be a contract and basically what this is saying 
is that we do not have a 123 contract in Apple for this expiration date. So that's why I have this kept at five currently. So now it's put us back to the 125, but you can um, change around with the uh, with how this rounds up and down. I would recommend <clears throat> to not change just the number here. Instead of going from 125, typing in 120, because doing that is actually going to break the, um, I guess, the function that's going on here, the, the uh, round function. So if we hit back, that pulls the function back in. What I recommend you do if you want to manually enter in the strike price is just create another sheet and then copy the old sheet. And paste it in and then use this one you know maybe label this sheet as manual and then just manually type in your strikes right here um, but once you do that you know once you manually enter in your in uh, enter in your strikes once you go to change this percentage right here it's not going to change the puts anymore it's still going to update this right here but this will not be updated because now we have manually changed it um, from the the uh, the automatic uh, rounding selection that is built in or that I have built in here. So if I go back to sheet one, <clears throat> let's see what else is there to talk about. Okay, another thing, if you want to add more stocks than the five that are listed right here all you do is just click on right um, over on the, uh, the the side over where the columns are or rows actually and we will copy this and go down and paste it and now that's added another one now all we have to do is just add another stock let's say So now we pull up GameStop, uh, and then let's look at, say, 20% below. Let's see if it'll pull something up. Okay, it has. So GameStop, even going 20% below on the strike price, uh, finds the 164.88. So rounding, that's the 165 put. It's a 23 delta. We can tell it's a 7% return on capital for this trade, and it's 51% annualized which is still very high. Uh, let's see something else to change. Oh, another thing will be the expiration. Um, and what I normally do to change this, you can hit Control and H to find. And if we type in how the uh, format is, let's just copy that. And now we want to look at what, uh, let's choose an, another expiration. Just do GameStop. So let's look at the, um, let's look at the 16th of July. So we will type that in as 7, 1, 6, So now that has changed all of our expirations to the 16th of July, which is now just 15 days. And we can see that the 16th of July, 20% out of the money, still the 165. It's paying roughly 1.58% or 38 annualized. It's a 13 delta. And I'm not saying anybody to trade this. I'm just, you know, just showing um, informational purposes only. <clears throat> so anyway I think that's it hopefully that will um, get most people started here on how to use this spreadsheet 
Um, I'll leave a couple of links um, in the description where you can download the spreadsheet. If you see this video, then this spreadsheet should be free for everyone. Um, right now, I've just shared it with my Patreon supporters. I'm just letting them kind of try it out first to see if, if we run into any issues. And nobody has said anything yet, so I'm, I'm hoping that it is working well for everyone. Um, I'll probably also post it maybe in a couple of Facebook groups as well. Um, if you want the most updated version, it's probably going to be on my Patreon page, but it'll still be free there as well, so you, you don't have to be a, a Patreon supporter to get this. Um, it, it'll be free for everyone. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching and have a good day.